everyone and welcome to episode three of Cooking with Corner Point. Today's kind of an exciting day. It's gonna be a big reveal. People are gonna be astonished that I actually shared this recipe, but I'm doing it in hopes that you all go to Corner Point and pick up your beer today curbside. They're open 12 to six. You have no excuses. And starting tomorrow, they're going to be doing delivery in the Berwick, North Berwick, and South Berwick and Lebanon areas. So you don't even need to leave your house. You have no excuse not to buy some Corner Point beer. So with that, I'm gonna say, get your pens and paper ready. I'll wait. All right, now you got your pens and paper, my friends. Jamie, Eric, Steve, Delia, Jeremy, and everyone else. I'm gonna show you how to make my secret barbecue sauce with Corner Point beer. So let's begin. Today I actually chose Telerosa Chuck. And I'll tell you, this will be the first time that I've made the barbecue sauce with this beer. I've made it with Down the Hatch, Brown, and Old Town Coffee, and it was all fine. So I'm looking forward to trying it today with Telerosa. So wish me luck and cheers. So first of all, you're gonna start off with a 64 ounce container of ketchup. I've already put it in the pan so that you don't have to listen to me make the weird burpy farty sounds. And we're going to turn the heat probably to a good medium, medium low, because you don't want it to bubble everywhere. Now, while it looks like I have a lot of ingredients, and yes, I do, they're super easy. You can do this anytime, but it makes a large quantity. Also, don't throw this away because at the end, you have a handy dandy little container serve your barbecue sauce out of. So first off, we're going to start with the basics. Two tablespoons of pepper, a tablespoon of salt. You don't want too much salt because remember the ketchup already contains some salt. You don't want to be all bloated after you eat my barbecue sauce. We're going to do a tablespoon of garlic powder. a tablespoon of onion powder, one third cup brown sugar, strongly packed. <laughs> We're going to do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, And here comes the fun ingredients. We're going to do a third of a cup of maple syrup. You can also substitute the maple syrup if you don't have it um, with molasses. That also works well because I've done that a couple times. So I'm going to do about a third of a cup. And this is going to add a lot of sweetness to the barbecue sauce, but it's also going to help your meats brown when you're grilling it because um, the sugars in there will start to caramelize. So when you do um, grill with the barbecue sauce, make sure to add maybe just a little bit extra oil to your, your grill or your indoor grill or even your frying pan. So we're also going to add hot sauce. You can add whatever hot sauce you want. Um, you can do Tabasco sauce. You can do Louisiana hot sauce, shout out to Crystal because I absolutely love that stuff. But um, what I find works best in this barbecue sauce is Pappy's Moonshine Madness. You can't buy it in the store. I've seen it in some specialty hot sauce stores, um, but you can buy it on Amazon, so that's usually where I order it from. It says it's so hot you'll go blind, but I can tell you I eat it on hot dogs and pizza. I haven't gone blind. I only have glasses because I'm getting old, not from the Moonshine Madness. Um, but it does contain bourbon, which I think really complements the beer and the sweetness in this. So you don't want a lot, but I'm going to put probably a good two tablespoons of it. With that, I'm going to do a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce um, just to bring in, you know, a little depth of flavor, bring out a little bit of a, a beefy, smoky flavor and then um, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And of course, we can't forget, it's going to take 24 ounces of beer. 
Since Corner Point sells their beer in 16 ounce cans, you're gonna have a can and a half. Or you can do 24 ounces, and you'll have a little leftover if you got a howler. So go ahead and add that in. And now the teller wants to check the reason why I chose it is because it's a milk stout, nice and thick, but it also has the sweetness of maple syrup in it from Bogdan Farms here in Berwick, shout out to them. And it also has some roasted pecans, which will um, offset the maple syrup that I have in here as well. So give me just a second. When you pour a beer, it gets a little foamy. I don't know if you all knew that. All right. There, just a little left for the cameraman. All right, so this will cook down, um, I'd say at this point, bring it up just a little bit to medium and let it simmer on your stove top for about 30 to 40 minutes, um, depending on how thick you want it. Um, I like my barbecue sauce a little looser, so I tend to let it boil down and reduce for about 20 minutes. Um, some people like it a little thicker, so go ahead and do the, you know, up to 40 or 45 minutes. Um, but I would keep it on a medium, medium low heat though because of the sugars in the barbecue sauce. Um, they will really start to stick to the bottom of your pan if you don't stir it every now and then. So there you have it, folks. There's the beloved barbecue sauce. Some people you know, say that they like to drink it straight out of the container. And you know, that's fine if that's your preference, but you know, I love to put it on chicken wings. I put it um, on meatballs. I've topped meatloaf with it, hamburgers, you name it. Anything you can put barbecue sauce on, this will work. So I implore my friends who know and love my barbecue sauce to go out and buy some Corner Point today. And like I said, I've done it with just about all of their beers. It works in every single one. So I hope everyone has a great, fantastic rest of the day. Enjoy your barbecue sauce. And to my friends who've had it, you're welcome. Um, but everyone, please go out, support your local brewer, fill a couple howlers, get some beer, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day.